Hi, I'm Tankfish, and this is a really quick guide on how to play Windward. Follow the announcement instructions on joining the right groups and shit, and watch this entire video, or I will hang you. To fire a cannon, you hold F to get on it, and manually aim it with WSD, then press V to change view, then press F to fire. For you spets, you'll be manning a single cannon. It will be assigned to you at the start of an operation, so don't go around hogging other people's cannon, you got your own. What are you, fucking insecure? Here I'm including some charts, so you dumbasses know approximately the elevation so you don't miss completely. Take a screenshot and use this as reference. Notice, there's carronades and cannons. Not the same, carronade has more drop. Off. So make sure to identify the gun that you're using and use the right chart. After you fire, to load a gun, you must get powder charges, which you will find in these barrels. You can carry four of these at once, so carry four. Don't keep coming back here. Then you will need a round. You can find these in these ammo crates. There are three types. Round shot is used to damage ship. Chain shot is used to knock down these poles. And grip shot is to kill people and damage the sail. You should always be using round shot unless told otherwise. Now, for loading the gun, it's simple. You have to be holding the powder charge and hold F to put in the cannon. Then hold a round shot and again hold F to put in the cannon. Then you press F to prepare the cannon and after waiting a bit you can shoot it again. This is all very basic and with enough practice you too can become fire. a professional bombastic cannoneer. The ones with the best aim will become gunnery officers and will be directly promoted to Decurion. Now moving on to hey, I got a Glock in my Rory. So to get your weapons you gotta go to your inventory Scroll down and get the musket and the saber. And it's Q and V to whip them out. So with the musket, you press F to aim and then you hold left click to aim and then you release it to fire. Always aim because the thing is, you're not going to be quick scoping because your accuracy is going to be that off and you are not that guy. For example, let me show you how shit your accuracy if you quick scope. I might be that guy after all. See? Don't do it. You drop the police, the I just wanna fuck a dude. Now, for the bayonet, you can just whip it out by just left-clicking before you press F to aim, and then you can just swing it out right in the open. You can also get the bayonet by cancelling your reload by pressing R, then just left-clicking. You get the bayonet by just spawning in with the musket equipped, and then you press B. You should be able to only do this once, so even if you die, you can respawn with the bayonet still attached. You can also press X to break block, which stuns people who think they're techie with their block technique. Now, the sword is better with the AOE, but if you don't have four seconds to whip it out and an enemy is charging at you, you're just gonna have to whip out your bayonet. The final tip, never fight fair. You see a friend doing a 1v1, you join in and you do a 2v1. Never fight fair. A guy is aiming at you with a gun, you turn into Flag Stanley and charge sideways so he can't insta-kill you. Never fight fair. Keep that in mind because your arms and legs don't insta-kill you, only your head and torso. By the way, with both the swords and the bayonet, you can charge with your sword out while spamming X to break block so you can just break their block and keep slashing them. So you could do bonsai charges. Just so you know. Repairs are so simple that even a monkey could do it. Firstly, you go to the ammo boxes to pick up planks. You can carry up to 5, so if you're on repair duty, completely stock up. Then, if you see a hole in the ship leaking in water, you walk up to it, hold the plank in your hand, hold G, so you can put the plank there, and then you just hammer it with your hammer until the leaking stops. If we're flooded, you go up here to the pumps and just keep clicking until the flooding is all gone. You can see the gauge down here on the bottom of your screen. And that's literally it for repairs. Now moving on to... Sailing is by far the most important, but also the most complicated part. First, we get the front sails, the main sails, and the back sails. To interact with them, you climb the ropes on the side here. And up here you can see the interaction prompts. To turn them for the wind, you go here for front sail, here for main sail, and here for the back sail. There are different types of sails. These big sails are just called big sails. These triangle sails in the front, we are gonna call the front Doritos. The other triangle sails over here, we are just gonna call Doritos. And this shark fin sail in the back is just gonna be the ass sail. 
Now, as for sail commands and what they mean, set sail is pretty self-explanatory. You put the sails down so we can set sail. Strike sails means you put the sails back up so we can slow down. The white arrow on the compass on the bottom right shows where the wind is going. And turning the sails into the wind means we put the sails so they catch the wind and we move faster. And catch no wind means we put it opposite of the wind, parallel to it, so we slow down. And against wind, also explanatory, just put them against wind. Only the most elite troops will be sailors, because we need a very coordinated sailing team. There will be a deeper, in-depth tutorial in the description, and if you want to become a salesman, you have to learn that video. Any certified sailor will be directly promoted to elite.